What's going on guys? Nick Thomasunas here. We're out here at my private little compound in Northern Michigan. It's been a little minute since I've done a proper video at this place. I've been riding this place a ton this summer. So much that the jumps have kind of deteriorated and everything's getting pretty dull. So I'm having my buddy Andy Smith, AKA Rolling Dice Tracks come out. We're gonna give this place a facelift, make things just a little bit bigger, kind of take me to the next level. Probably throw in a couple extra hits. We rented a skid steer from Wolf Kubota. Shout out to Wolf Kubota for hooking it up. I think we're gonna have maybe three days total, two and a half, three days of just putting in time out here, making this place as pretty, as nice, proper as possible. I've hit these jumps so many times that I could probably hit them all blindfold at this point. So it's definitely needed to uh, give this place a revamp and take it up a notch kind of push that next level in my riding and you know see what else we can come up with so stay tuned as you can see things are pretty overgrown obviously the faces and the back sides of the landings are good but it's pretty overgrown and it's definitely pretty difficult keeping up with this with just like a 40 horse tractor but it's been doing me well I think we're uh, definitely going to need a reface on that, but I'm excited. Should be sick. How was that? You hit the speed boost at the landing. Dude, I had to. Yeah, good. <laughs> they're not super fat yet, but I mean they're I feel for 15 minutes on the jump I'm doing pretty good. They're definitely <laughs> like really angled, so that's that looks good. You're not necessarily getting upside down. You're, no. you're just gonna Not like I can over that one. I didn't really get the front end up, but... Maybe it just sounded better than it was. I looked backwards! That was sick! Oh. Redo it! 
I can go way bigger than that. <laughs> so that wraps up day one. Definitely made some uh, pretty big improvements so far. I think he's only been working for maybe five, six hours. The main step up is the one I really wanted to improve on and kind of make it a little bit bigger and it's absolutely perfect. I couldn't be happier with that. So gonna lip up a few more jumps, probably add maybe a foot or two to them. And then uh, the fun part begins, we'll be able to just get creative and use the next probably day and a half, two days and just get creative with it. All right, so day two. Andy's been working a little bit this morning. Nothing too uh, crazy as of right now. We went out and uh, refaced these jumps over here. So I'm gonna go test out some of the faces. I think he built them maybe two feet bigger. Just test it out, you know, kind of gauge it, judge it, see uh, what we need to adjust here. So I'm gonna hit this roll over at the same spot a couple times so I know where I'm hitting it. And I know how the face is gonna throw me before I just kind of blindly hit it. See, that was a little sketchy because the face is still soft. So it wants to rob your momentum a little bit. So you just gotta, you know, kind of be cautious of that before you hit anything. I just finished up day two. Didn't really ride too much today, but just kind of tested out some of the new lips, some of the new landings Andy built. Everything's going pretty good, pretty happy. It's definitely keeping me out of my comfort zone, which is what I want. I want to continue to progress and almost never be comfortable. So that's 
really the only way I'm gonna get to where I wanna go. We'll check back in tomorrow and see what kind of progress we can continue to make. Okay, so day three, final day I have Andy out here. We finished up like almost all of the main jumps, just reface and everything. And uh, now we're gonna start just throwing random stuff everywhere and see if we can come up with something really cool and unique. I have a uh, pretty good trust in Andy that he can do that, no problem. So I'm gonna throw my gear on here pretty soon and start eyeing up some uh, really, some unique features and see what we can come up with. A nice little photo shoot berm here. Turn that into something cool. This is all just on the landing of a jump. Got a little hip coming over. And then another little hit going over. Then there's a little bull turn on the other side. It all kind of links together. It's pretty sweet. Really? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. Especially if you could round the corner. That's what I want to do. Dug a little ditch to the ramp in. Just a fun little hit, nothing crazy. I don't even think it's that 75 feet, but probably 55, 60. But it's a pretty sick little idea. We're nearing the end of day three here. Not too much more we can do. Um, we did add like a little bit of a, a weird rhythm section over here and, and like an on off over on this side. But other than that, we kind of just made everything a little bit more severe which i'm extremely happy with that's like really all i need to kind of take it up to the next level and kind of help me get to where i'm going i think it's seven o'clock right now so i don't know how much more we can do and the rental's got to go back tomorrow by 8 a.m so knowing andy last night he worked all the way into the night tonight i'm sure he'll work till 9 10 o'clock in the dark it's been awesome i'll have to throw on my gopro and once everything's finished and kind of uh take a full course preview here so final day, Andy finished up last night. Just kind of put the final touches on. We threw that freestyle ramp in um, just to kind of get it out of the way, even though I probably don't really plan on riding it that much. Added a couple more like little tiny hits here and there, and then just made it look a little bit prettier. I'm throwing on my gear. I got my brand new uh, Jeff Walker Inferno LE that Active just released today, which by the time this video goes up, it'll probably be a couple days ago. But this stuff is super sick. Although I'm not much a color guy, I feel like it's only fair if I go out and rep my boy Jeff Walker. So make sure to go pick up some for yourself. Use my code Nick T, that's capital N-I-C-K-T at checkout. Get a nice little discount. Get some sick gear. I'm super stoked on these new materials. Super stretchy, super breathable. But yeah, I'm gonna throw on my gear and we'll uh, go link this entire course together and have some fun.
obviously it went a little long, but it's like, because the ramp's super steep, and it's not, usually normal comp ramps are 45 degrees, this one's like 50, so it's in between like a comp ramp and a super kicker, which is why we have it set a little bit shorter, and not at the traditional 75 foot. that up thank you for coming on board spending a couple uh i would say laps but just hitting some jumps with me make sure to like comment subscribe all that good youtube stuff and we'll catch you guys in the next one